That's right. COVID. <laughs> Fuck you, COVID. I'm protected. Ram Omar, man. Ram Omar. Look at that. Oh, man. That's nice. That's how your grandma used to say it. That's nice. That's nice. That's a nice mask. And you know what's so dope about these? They got like these little pockets in here where you can put your little carbon filter to make it N95 compliant. Ram Omar, man. Fly ass mask. I am your father, Luke. 
You do not know how much power the dark side has. Join me, and together we will overthrow the emperor and rule. Oh, sorry. Just having a. I was having a Star Wars moment. Forgive me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, y'all gotta go support black businesses. Juneteenth is right around the corner. Uh, you know what that means. Uh, you know what that signifies. So I would suggest and hope and, and, and um, you know, kind of urge people to support black-owned businesses during that time. Um, that's what I, yeah, Peaches is in here. They heard you giggling. Goddamn, Peaches giggled. They done heard it. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hello, Jesus. Hallelujah. I had to bring the saints in, <laughs> apparently. So, yeah, go to ramomar.com or ramomarny.com. Tell them Zoe Williams sent you. Their, their masks are dope as hell. I got like a couple more in my bag, like a, a white and gold one, and they're really, really dope. Um, so continue to support Ram Omar. Um, as you know, I'm gonna rattle through this very, very quickly. Total Package Energy! Energy! Energy, remember Schoolhouse Rock? Anyway, Total Package Energy, one of the greatest energy drinks in the world, if you're healthy, and if you use it in moderation. You got to give them motherfuckers disclaimers. This ain't gonna get you out your uh, diabetes bed, I tell you that. Disclaimers, if you're healthy, and you use in moderation. You understand? And if you got something to do, that's another condition. You ain't got nothing to do. Don't drink no energy drink with nothing to do. Can you imagine just being up and awake with nothing to do? It's 11.47 in the morning. And you just up. Twiddling. Knee bouncing. Nothing to do. Don't drink this with nothing to do. It's a warning. <laughs> See, I had one this morning. I got something to do. I'm up in here doing the show right now. Mansion's gear. Hey, listen, man, can we get to 50 garments sold? Like, no no disrespect, man. Y'all, do y'all love me or no? You know, Ram Omar has sold over 500,000 of those masks. Oh, wow. I sold 50 hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> My shit terrible, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it, is it ain't gonna be hot for long. Take your ass near a body of water or something. Get a t-shirt. <laughs> ah, go to Power and One Clothing, man. Tell them Zoe Williams sent you. Go to the Mansions Show Apparel Relationship Rivalry Series. The University of You Relationship is the University of You. Get a t-shirt. Right? Get a t-shirt. If you don't want a hoodie, buy a hoodie and save it for the winner. Yeah. yeah, you know you want to hide your body that ain't quite right yet <laughs> while you working out. Cause you know, you can't wear tight shit while you still forming your body. Right. Buy a big ass hoodie and go to the gym <laughs> dressed as a tent. It, you'll be okay. We got large size, we got all the way up to 5X. Just go in there looking like a colorful water balloon. Please support 
The mansion's gear, the holographic relationship, which is the follow-up to the relationship dismount, my two books. Man, the relationship dismount, how to stick the landing when exiting a toxic relationship, amazing book, available only on Amazon in three different formats. Uh, those formats are uh, Audible, Kindle, and paperback. Go there right now, tell them Zoe Williams sent you. And if you want a copy of the follow-up, all you have to do is go to my website, imzowilliams.com, and order your paperback from there. If you want the Kindle version of the follow-up, the holographic relationship, all you have to do is go to amazon.com and get the Kindle version. Let me say this before I move forward. Everybody in their mama, which means my family, has been calling me because, and I'm gonna keep it 100, my homeboy who's out of Philly in 2017, I've played a lot of his music here, but in 2017, he reached out and said, yo man, I wanna try to do a, a documentary. But you know how black people are, we do stuff, this is a shoestring, right? We do stuff with a shoestring. <laughs> Grab that shoestring and get some bubble gum. Like we, <laughs> we the MacGyvers of life. You understand? Grab me a Cheeto, take some of that hot dust off of it, put that on the tip of a match, and then, and then set the shit on fire. Right? We, we just do all types of wild shit. Well, the homeboy pulled off some wild shit. In my opinion, it was wild. He pulled off some wild shit. He did a documentary with me at the house and maybe one location. I met him at a hotel somewhere. He had a show later on that day. He said, come down to the lobby. When you come to the lobby, uh, sit on that couch right there and set up four cameras and, and, and two, but this is the lobby. Don't you worry about it. We're gonna pull this off. So I filmed a little piece of something and then the rest of it was shit on goddamn it was Zoom before Zoom or Skype before Skype, one of them, you know, one of them. And we wound up putting out a movie, a documentary called Escape from Candyland. And because of all of these protests and all of this stuff that's been going on, on Amazon Prime, it's trending as uh, under the Black Lives Matter and you know when you got cousins and family who, who know how to count, they start calling. Hey, you, you, in a, you in a movie on Amazon. I said, man, I was filming that on the couch at the house. What are you talking about? Hey, man, that thing happening now. You know, the money coming in from somewhere. You need to, you know, oh, wow. Uncle Travis is, is an accountant. What? You have developed a character that is so fucking dope that if you're going to touch it, you're going to have to put your phone down, do the shake the whole nine. We want to see that conversation, Zoe Williams. No. I will not allow you <laughs> as dope as you know, this dude. Hey, man, I'm, I'm promoting some shit. <laughs> <laughs> so... Hey man, everybody go there, man. If you if you already seen it, cool. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Go see it, because apparently it's trending. I mean, I got like six, seven calls from people. You know, it, it was wild. Everybody hit the like button, hit the share button. Welcome to the Zo What Show. We appreciate everybody for chiming in and tuning in. Please participate. This is a user participation type show. Please, please, please show the chat and the like and the share and the super chat and the cash apps. Show it all love because we doing this shit. You know, we just out here. We doing it anyway. Uh, yeah. So I wanted to mention Escape from Candyland on Amazon Prime. So go check that out. Uh, also, the hurricane report. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. H dash. Report. Put them pants up there like you normally do. Dot com. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 
Where them pants at? Wait, hold on. Just making it a H dash report dot com. Alternative news media source for ADOS. That's American Descendants of Slaves. How about it? Of slavery. Of slaves. You know what I mean? Go support the hurricane report. H dash report dot news. All right. Me and Jeff about to go in. We get dot money. I talked to my homeboy, Muhammad Hussein. He said he's not getting a lot of traction. But the people who have gone to him have come up winning. He helped one business guy, he sent me an email. He said, look, man, he helped me with my payroll, my PPP, payroll protection plan. So we get dot money as a financial literacy and resource hub for the people, backed by mybusinessloan.com and lend800.com. Please get over there because if you're trying to set up a business, if you're trying to set up an LLC, a C Corp, or whatever you're trying to do, these people have the business resource. Wait, wait, Eugene, Enrique, somebody delete Enrique entirely. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bye, Enrique. I don't know what you did, Enrique. I'm looking. Oh, shit. Damn. Because here's the thing. Zoe usually say what he mad about first <laughs> and then give judgment. No, because here's the he thing. Give judgment first. I don't know. You'll say in one breath, now ain't the time uh-huh, for, uh-huh. for celebrity. Well, well. But that's all a lot of yous want to fuck with anyway. Uh huh. Dave Chappelle came out and did 27 minutes. My Lord. Dave Chappelle's one of the greatest comedians in the world. Mm, never lived. One of the best in the world. Mm, funny motherfucker. But this yeah. shit wasn't funny. Wasn't funny. What he was talking about. But you'll sit there and shut your goofy mouth because uh-huh, he's a celebrity. Goofy mouth bastard. Now, he told you his celebrity doesn't matter. Uh-huh. He told you that the youth getting out there and doing their thing uh-huh. was the key point. You but know, guess you what? You want to bitch and complain on a free show. Tell him again. A, a free show, Lord. How, how much did it pay? You want to bitch and complain about a free show. A free show. Lord have mercy if it was one of your favorite celebrities. You'd uh-huh. shut your bitch ass uh-huh. up. You'd sit there quietly. You'd sit there and say, please continue to speak, old nigga, that I would love to have thine nuts rest upon thine clavicle and shoulder area. You... Nuts on your shoulder, Lord. Nuts I would love to be a stool for you, good brother, because you are something that I aspire to be, because there's a deficit in me that I would love thee to fill completely. You gay for booty. Right. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Got a place to put your balls. <laughs> on your shoulder, Lord. Ah! <laughs> hey, we turned up today, goddammit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, look. Check out Terry Lomax. Right? You want to do a podcast. And you want it done professional. Right. But you don't know where to start. You haven't figured out which direction you should go in. This is the lady. TerryLomax.com. T-E-R-R-I Lomax.com. Every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, she has Monday and Wednesday. Wednesday is at 11 p.m. Uh, or 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 1 p.m. or it was at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all should get at her. Visit her website, terrylomax.com, and catch the replay and get instant access right now. Check her out. She's a podcaster, brand manager, speaker, 
the whole nine yards. Dynamic Please system. get with the sister. She can give you the blueprint on how to get it done. Maid! Oh. Maid! Sakura! Oh, no. How do your feet feel right now? Inside, tucked inside Come your in crusted, stank ass shoe. In the inner sanctum of that roll out ass loafer you got. How does your penniless loafer support <laughs> your feet without. <laughs> High level soccer. Soccer. <laughs> soccer. You need high level soccer in your to, life. When a, man, when a man get to a point in life, he can't get put on a sock. All right? You got a nice car in the driveway. Your wife look nice on Sunday. You go to yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what you need? Yeah. You know what you need? You know what you're supposed to have? Supposed to have you some soccer. Soccer. Some soccer. Yeah. Any nigga can wander into Walgreens and get yeah. them gold toes down off the goddamn Yeah, Lord. No. Yeah, Lord. See, 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 they go hand in hand. You understand? Know they, they go hand in hand. <laughs> like men and potato gravy, they go hand in hand. You understand? Know you see me? You know what I'm See, you got on one end, you got haberdash. Haberdash. You got to dress like you're somebody. Yeah. But then on the other end, yeah. you need soccer. You understand the compliment? Soccer. Haberdash. Haberdash. You understand? Man. Man. Soccer. That's all you got to do. I didn't know. I didn't know. I was on the fence. I was gonna give him some. I wasn't. I wasn't sure. <laughs> you sat down. <laughs> Pull up his pants leg, <laughs> and I saw that name, name, Sakura. Oh, he was getting some ass this evening. I'm glad my panties and my bra match because he's getting some ass. Yeah. You could be a dumb nigga, but have quantum, oh, shit. quantum oh, physics and mechanics oh, and shit. On your sock and impress the woman. She got these socks, man, that have high level mathematical equations on it, man. Right. Look like an Earth, Wind, and Fire cover, our album cover. Yeah. All that shit on. Yes. And I keep telling y'all, once y'all see her, y'all really gonna try to buy her all, all her socks. Yes. Yeah. Once you get over the fact that uh, she is fine and she's not thinking about you, you really need to get you some main, main soccer. So this is what we do. May-man-socri.myshopify.com. What I want you guys to do, everybody I put in front of you guys, I want you guys to sell them out. Cash mob. Cash mob. Sell them out. It was Veronica Conway years ago who introduced me to that term. Cash mob. Right? Sell out every business I put in front of you for the sake of what's happening in the world today. It requires our unity, our economic unity, more than anything else. So please go to made-man-sakri.myshopify.com and also follow them. Everybody right now, there's hundreds of people in here right now. Go follow. Everybody should go follow her IG right now. At Made Man Sockery. All right? Please do that. Uh-uh. Now, <laughs> knock it off. <laughs> All right? I thought we were going to do something in here. Do what? Ha ha. Anyway, uh, this is what I want y'all to do too. Y'all got to stop fucking around. Hit this super chat and hit the cash app. Jeff Brown. How many miles did you drive to get here, brother? 26.4, a bit over a marathon. Yes. Yes. Jeff, come on, man. We got to support him. His wisdom, his knowledge, his information, his overall uh, tenacity. Uh, and he gets here every week. So we got to support him. What is Jeff Brown's cash app? Please Thank post you, it. It is dollar sign. GB funny stuff. Dollar sign. Dollar sign. GB. Skip. Funny sign. Skip. Skip. Dollar sign. Skip. Let me tell you something, Skip. That's my man, though. That's He's smart. Man. Smart than a motherfucker. And, and look like, look like. 
he could get up from that desk and go play. Oh, he yeah. Hulk Hogan. He ripped up, dude. Yeah. And I'll give it to you. Get him and put them things on you. He on the junkyard dog side of the game. I'll put them things on you, Skill. No, he yeah, he don't yep. fuck around. Yep. Shannon, shout out to Shannon Sharp. I'm fucking around. Shannon. I See, don't need none. I don't need none of the smoke. I'm no, he on the Tony Atlas side of the game. All right? <laughs> you remember Tony yeah. Atlas, the wrestler? Yeah. Yeah, man. So, um, Cash App Jeff Brown. And also, please, I implore you, please, Father. Well, may we have more cheese. May we have more food, Father. Please, hit the cash app as well as my cash app. What is my cash app, Sarah? You're like the others. You're like all the others. You come to me with a begging bowl. (laughs) Please, hit the like button, the share button. We got 700 people in here. We should have 700 likes. We should, if all 700 dropped a dollar, I'd shut the entire fuck Fuck up. up. Right now. If everybody dropped a dollar right now, and I don't mean 50, you got me 700, you know. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I usually uh, hate on niggas who are not on their way to a picnic in white jeans, but not today. <laughs> today, brother, brother, you, 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 you look like the damn uh, director of activities on some elaborate ship on the way from coming to America, sir. It, 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 it's dope. <laughs> If you don't get your blue collar shirt wearing ass out here, <laughs> go get me a cup of coffee, Olson. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, hey. right, right. You know what I'm talking about? He's in charge of the activities and shit. Where I'm the shuffleboard in- more things at? I asked the tall dude with the eyes. Ask he know what they are. Yeah, on the Wakanda. On the Wakanda. Yeah, on the ship from Wakanda. I'm dressed in all white, man. I had to represent a certain energy because some fuck shit happened recently, what? and I was told not to wear black. What? That'd make you angry. My god sisters was like, "Don't wear black." I'm not even supposed to have on a black hat. Oh, she was like, "Oh, you don't put black on your crown, on your ori." Ever. She was like, "Wear a white hat. Wear white clothes." Cause some fuck shit went down. Get out of here! But I ain't gonna talk about it. On no, no, the no, air. no, not on the air. But, but in the same lane of what we discussed in the cigar bar. Oh no, no. Those no. ladies? No, 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 no. Oh, my sisters. Yes. She. I talk we to gotta them all talk the time. about that. Yeah, yeah, I talk to them all the time. Yes. But they was like, uh, bruh, all white. They told me to put some water on my head and cool my head. Okay, so you, you, you. But I didn't do that. You taking the cosmic advice coming from black women? I, I have to. Nigga, you better. You fucking better. Shit. There's nobody. Because otherwise, I'd have been in this motherfucker turned up, nigga. Uh oh, sorry. See, that's like what I get. Tell you something. You can't go wrong. You get a sister that's plugged into the earth. Bruh, that nobody is more connected to the universe than black women. I'm period. trying to tell you, but we, it's about getting them to remember. It's about yeah. breaking up. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Uh, everybody that's doing what I asked them to do, y'all hitting the super chat, y'all hitting the like button, y'all y'all hitting cash app. I appreciate it. Please, 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 let's go hard in the paint. Thank you to every one of you, each and every one of you that has made a financial sacrifice. I'm watching it happen. That's why you see me looking God over bless here. You, God keep you. I appreciate you. No, I can't do that. I can't say God bless you, God keep you, because I don't want to manipulate you. See, how about that? How about that? See, the only thing that 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 would make that make sense if I would say uh, the God that you've discovered in you can can bless you and keep you. But I, I ain't gonna just arbitrarily say something over in the clouds. Right. Just, uh, blessing and keeping. Have some more Sky Daddy burgers. All right, we're not doing that. No, so, no Sky Daddy. To burgers. everybody that shares with Jeff, that shares with Sarah, Sarah put, because Sarah don't have to be here. Sarah dressed in her goddamn work clothes. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah, put your damn uh, super chat or whatever the thing. What, what What is it, the cash app that Sarah has? Because we about to take the yes. fuck off. So many things has been happening in the world. I'm going to position some things. We Let's go. about to take the fuck off. Today's topic, substance over symbols. Substance over symbols. 
a lot of symbolic shit happening today that's kind of weird. Let's just paint some streets and let them say Black Lives Matter. Right? Yeah. Everybody involved in Black Lives Matter now. Everybody. Shit is happening at a rapid place. Let's take down this motherfucking statue of Columbus. Yeah. Statue of Columbus is a symbol. A symbol of the new world. I found this place even though they were already dark-skinned Negroids here. I discovered it. I discovered it. Everything about white education is a symbol. Everything about black spirituality is what it symbolizes. Wow. They gave your ass their symbols so you could have social mobility in their society while they're in the background banging their heads on the motherfucking chalkboard trying to understand your spirituality. I've been saying this shit for years. Substance over spiritual, uh, a substance over symbols. I got stories. I got questions. Jeff, mm. let's just jump right into it, Jeff. I'm going to read a little piece of this story, and I'm going to throw it to you, and we're going to tie in substance over symbols. Atlanta police seek mass woman suspected of burning down Wendy's. A masked woman. But it was a masked white woman who burnt down Wendy's. <laughs> Atlanta police are looking for a woman wanted for setting a fire to a Wendy's Saturday night amid unrest over the deadly police shooting of Richard Brooks. The Atlanta Police Department on Sunday shared a photo of the woman who appeared to be white and was dressed in a black, or dressed in all black, with her face largely covered. At Stop Crime, ATL is offering a $10,000 reward for information on the individuals responsible for starting a fire that led to the destruction of a Wendy's restaurant at 125 University Avenue. The department said in a tweet that included three photos of the suspect. It was a white woman. <laughs> First off, how she know where the shit gonna jump off at? She get motherfucking intel from somewhere? Jeff, you in the military? Yes. Talk to me, man. How the fuck this white woman know where to be? Just talk to me, man. Okay, well first, uh, before I can address this, from anything to do with the white woman. I gotta start with us, okay? Oh, so you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna jump off script? No. Oh, okay, all right. No, Let's... no. Um, this information. <laughs> See, this. She, this information. She learned from you. Okay, go ahead. Is, is what we all know. This is the same shit. The way this was reported to you, a mass woman without highlighting her race. This is the same shit that the press has always been. Always. How is that different? What did I learn there? Nothing. Uh, the only difference is we all know these were differences that fell on us from a defensive perspective, which is where it always is. Niggas ain't never on the offense. We always on defense. What doesn't happen now, what we doing? We woke up to the bias in the press. But now it's everywhere because the press is everywhere because it's on your smartphone. So it's what we all know. The question is, what we all gonna do? What are we all gonna do? Are we all gonna jump to arms every time we hear some bullshit in the press? as if you don't expect bullshit from the press, as if you don't expect to be painted whenever you can. Whenever you can be erased, you will be.
Whenever you can be marginalized, you will be. Whenever you can be vilified, you will be. Whenever they can be exalted, they will be. Whenever they can be magnified, they will be. Those are fucking givens. Now, what are you gonna do about the fact that we know that this bitch got orders? That she didn't just pop up out of nowhere? That she didn't just happen to be there? What are we gonna do now that we know that these people are on some Manchurian candidate type shit. How many of these people are, are tuned to a sound or to a word? Yeah, and then now all oh, go, go do this dumb shit. Shrimp how and do you grits. Not, how do you give them, right? <laughs> Nigga, you stupid. <laughs> Shrimp and grits. Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> get in line, get in line, I have to taste it. You don't know what Manchurian shit. Check your Manchurian shit. But this shit right here, I don't, I didn't learn shit. White folks ain't shit. White folks cover up for each other. And we go see them. Could it be that she works for the police? How about it? How about it? Could it be? Is that a possibility? Could it, could it be, could it be that the, the concept of somebody actually working against you is so heinous that it's hard to believe that she works for the police? Could it be that your pragmatic benefit of the doubt that you give white skin is fucking you over right now? You can't let that go? Oh, no, no, the police can't be involved. And what's really interesting is that we're so cavalier about our acknowledgement of the ubiquity of propaganda. Right. We're so cavalier about it. Even. Even, you know, Chappelle alluded to it in his set when he was basically like, yeah, you know, good job for the youngsters that are out there. And, I, and I'm 100% I'm with him on that. The youngsters is, is taking it and they, they bang it. But he also said that there's some provocateurs out there. And so we're so cavalier about the provocateurs. We don't understand using Jeff's Manchurian candidate comment that that's a real reality. This is why. I told the mother of my granddaughter, I said, stay home. I know you want to rep, but who's standing next to you? And what is his intention? Ooh. What, are, what is their intention? You don't know. Now, coupled with that, you see motherfuckers out here twerking in front of the police. Dropping that monkey like it's hot. Tapping that clitoris in front of the cops. Clitoris tap, bap, bap. Wait a minute. Your whole puss out. Dropping that monkey like it's hot. Dipping that clitoris like it's what did you say? I, I don't know tapping what the, they tap that pussy. Tap, tap, tap. <clears throat> We should change the rock root name from Spinal Tap to Pussy Tap. Pussy Tap, Clit Tap. What the fuck? How is that protesting? You done took IG and took it to the protest lines. Right. Thought testing. Tell you what, I'm so mad I'm finna get out here and play with the little man in the boat in front of all of you. <laughs> the little man in the boat. I'm like, what the fuck kind of circus? Little man in the canoe? Nobody? Mm -hmm. Nobody? And, and that's somebody's daughter. Your whole bus out in front of the cops. <laughs> <laughs> that entire <laughs> monkey, <Okay. laughs> that whole meerkat snatch is out. <laughs> what the fuck? I can see your meat curtains, ma'am. I can see them. Talking about losing sight, right? Talking about losing sight. That thing looks like an elephant taking a nap. Put it away. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talking about losing sight of what the fuck we there for. Jesus Christ. Christ almighty. You understand? Why? You here to dance for the cops? I lost my appetite for Christ's sake. Hey, once this thing is over, maybe one of you guys can, or a couple of you guys can. What the fuck? Are those cats following you yours, or are those new? 
Are those strange cats following you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, why do people spell my name with an E when it clearly says Zoe in the title? I've never understood. You want to know why I be yelling? Because I'm pissed off, goofy motherfucker. I huh? Don't, I don't understand it. I've never. Assalamu alaikum. I'm not in the mood today. I tell you, I done went through some shit. I just sold my Lincoln. I am not having it. (laughs) What? So, segue from the pussy popping for the popo. Pussy popping for the popo. Segue from that to this. Black community braces for next threat. Mass evictions. So while you shaking your pussy in front of the police thinking you protesting, this is the next wave of fuck tartary that's on the way down yes. the pike. Yes. A federal moratorium on evictions, which only applies to one in four rental units that are backed by the government, expires in a matter of weeks. Public housing in Brooklyn, New York, a temporary ban on evictions for rentals backed by the government is set to expire in a matter of weeks. A new tremor is threatening to shake the minority communities as protests over racial injustice sweeps the country. A wave of evictions as a federal moratorium on kicking people out of their rental units is about to expire. The ban on on evictions, which applies to rentals that are backed by the government, expires in a matter of a week. So so while we out here popping it, we had 40 million unemployed because of the quarantine, stay at home. We got time to pop pussy in front of the popo while the moratorium that's backed by the government that basically tells landlords, you can't kick people out during this time because of the COVID virus and the shutdowns. Okay, I got two solutions. I'm listening. One I'll give you now. The, the, the easy one I'll give you now. The hard one comes in the ring. Solution number one. As I said way back on T Radio V, clan up. Clan up. You ain't telling Mexican shit. They've been living 15 to a house and making it work and getting behind the one smart one who they send to law school and the rest of them is carpenters and whatever the fuck they gotta be and they send this one off to law school cause when this one get out of law school guess what they got a family lawyer they been doing that it's you niggas that get off work and can't wait to cash your check and turn it in at the mall to make other niggas on the block jealous of you you niggas are going to die do you hear me you are going to die in your own fluids in the street if you do not follow the following instructions. Whoever it is that is in your family that has the most space and or is the most caught up on their bills, (laughs) y'all need to congregate. You need to go over there. If you know you're gonna get evicted, don't give your landlord shit. Don't give him another fucking nickel. Buy a 50 pound bag of beans, a 50 pound bag of rice, a crate that you can keep that in. Get you a hibachi grill. If you're somewhere near the water, a rod and a reel, and nigga, you can live right there. But the first thing you got to do is clan the fuck up. Get over that bullshit with your baby daddy. Get over that shit, get over it. Because the fact that you don't like your baby mama nigga is gonna kill you. Hold on. MC two dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> you don't come with a more multifaceted solution, nigga. Oh, I, brother, that's the simplest one. MC two D. Okay, well, I tell you what. Fill Flat out, art. Fill out the other dimensions. It's real simple. Get over that shit you own. Buy you some Listen, provisions let me, let me and just, clan up or you're going to die on the street. Let me come back to this because we always get hung up on this one right here. Me, me, you and I. Yes, sir. And I love this, brother. Do you respect the Honorable Louis Farrakhan? If you don't stop, come on. 
Bro, that goes, do I even have to answer that? In yeah, 2005 yeah. and six, he was on Tavis Smiley's uh, State of the Black Union. Mm -hmm. And what he explained was quite simple. He said, my teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, our unity is more powerful than atomic bomb. Sure. You Absolutely. speaking on unity. Yes. The minister said, we can't have the unity you talking about. You know why? Why? Because of the same thing I say when I quote Krishnamurti. It is. No measure. No, let me, let me. I want to say it. Exactly. Exactly. Because I be saying it the way I say it. I want to say it exactly the way it's said. This is where, this is why I say, Jeff, I, 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 I am with you. But it's, it's a two-dimensional, one-sided kind of approach because in order to have unity, you must have healing. There must be a reconciliation in our community. Krishnamurti said, it is no measure of health to be well-adjusted to a profoundly sick society. Our people are sick right now because we mimic the devil. What, what the Honorable Louis Farrakhan said was quite eloquent. He said, you have made a covenant with death. He talking about black people. Sure. And that's when he said the famous line, you lack the testicular fortitude to come together. Jeff, you can say all types of fanciful, aspirational ass great ideas. Well, let's get the grass and a bunch of niggas. Let's come together and we got a league. Not if we hate each other. Okay. Not if we, and, and this is not me saying it's hard or it's impossible or I'm a shade tree, coon ass, Jasper ass. No, this is me saying first, there must be healing in the home. The home affects the community. But if I'm competing with Puffy, if I'm competing with, with, with Master P, if I'm competing with LeBron, there ain't gonna be no healing. And thus, that ultimate Voltron. He said, our unity is more powerful than an atomic bomb, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. He said, we always seek to have a seat at the table. No, listen, to, listen to this quote right here. The minister said, the thing that is missing is not our genius, but our unity. Our children cannot eat at the table of illusion and hypocrisy. Who brought Joe Biden back from political death, Jeff? Black A black man. Mm -hmm. Clyburn. Carolinas. Right? What do we rally around? Farrakhan said this on the Tavis Smiley thing. He said, black people need to form, listen to this, Jeff, and then you, you push back. Black people need to form a covenant with one another and make a promise that we will never sell each other out to the white man, to the dominant society. Jeff, are you comfortable and confident that our people won't sell each other out right now as we are currently. I absolutely 115.8% am. And I tell you why. Let's go. Because again, as sad as it is, everybody ain't gonna make it. That pile of bodies, those body bags, these FEMA camps are made for the people who will not break their covenant with death. So I don't speak of them. And maybe that's our disconnect. You think I'm speaking about everybody. No, I'm not. I'm speaking <laughs> no, about don't. the niggas I'm fucking with right now. I fuck with a tribe of people on my wavelength. There mm. are a number, and that number is growing, of people who realize who they are, what is not for them, 
what is all the things that 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 niggas push back on perm weave voting meat there, there's a bunch of people who figure out who have figured out that that's some bullshit bunch of people who figured out that they should have bug out kits right now and should be armed and ready to leave their house in four minutes that are already ready amongst myself and I speak of them and we gonna be good it's the rest of you niggas that have to be convinced still gotta be convinced that of who your enemy is keep going still gotta be convinced that the white man's ice is not colder. Still got to be convinced that you cannot vote your way out of this. That somehow you can pull a velvet curtain behind you and flip a lever in a room. Still got to be convinced. What is that, velvet? Yes. <laughs> it's them people. It's them people that's going to straight up fill these body bags. I'm not talking about you. Meat's great. Keep eating it. Perm don't cause no, girl, perm don't cause no fibroids. You look better with straight hair. Yeah, keep going. Keep weaving the, the yes, keep grafting the dead skin cells of another mammal in your hair. So you're the modern them. day keep Noah. Going. Sure. I go, okay. I'll you take can't that. convince these motherfuckers. I can't. You told them once or twice. They don't listen. Fuck them. They laughing at you while you're packing up this big ass ark. Fuck them, fuck full em. of bug out bags. Right. And and 15 pounds of beans and rice. Right. They, Hey, you putting this shit together and these motherfuckers is talking Thank that you. shit. I'm what you gonna do Noah once shit. you close the door, Noah? Nigga, uh, uh, I hope you know how to tread water. Hey, look, I tried to tell you. I'm on some Noah shit. I'm putting shit in my house two by two. Unity, two by two. Power, two by two. Self-defense, two by two. Love, two by two. Farming, two by two. Self-awareness, self two by two, and mm. I'm gonna lock my shit up and watch you motherfuckers die. Mm. Absolutely, I have no issue with mm. it. I have mm. none. Mm. I have none. God has left his goodness and taken his mercy from this planet. Keep fucking around. He got, he, you got goodness right now. Mm. You got goodness. You have the goodness of this show telling you what's what. Uh. You have the goodness, you got the goodness of the archives of this show uh. for, fucking, for over a fucking decade. We've been telling you niggas what to they do. They only watch those uh, shows with celebrities on it. Though. Exactly. You keep keep fucking around. Say don't say you didn't know. Don't say you didn't know. It's the same shit. You can eat a you can eat a homeless man asshole first. I don't give a fuck. What you eat does not make me shit. However, when, not if. The term stages one through four. Do you know what type of old human cheese? Can be found. Oh, nigga. <laughs> Y'all be making fun of these big old fat ass broads or with the with the look like they got elephant balls in the front. Do you know what that is? That's just old shit. That's all that is. Keep it. Keep with it. And then have somebody hold the boko shawl around your bed. If you get a bed in a hospital now, where are you going? COVID's on the rise. Where are you going? Keep it up, niggas. Just don't act like your name was on some evil wheel of fate that the devil spun and threw a dart and hit. You did it to you. You don't want to. You don't want to unite in love. You did it to you. You don't want to prepare. You did it to you. The same shit that's coming for me is coming for you. But what the fuck are you doing? Waiting so, on the new Jordans to drop. So good luck. So let's come back to the whole concept of substance over symbol. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, we have made a covenant with, death. with illusion and hypocrisy and death. Because that's where we get our meaning from. The white man gave you meaning because he recreated a God, right? Or I should say he deconstructed a God. He gave God amnesia. All of us are Hancock running around this bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? So the devil is so powerful, yet so envious of God. Mm. Or I should say the, the, the dark side of mm. the one force is so envious of the light side of the force that the dark side said, I'm going to make the light side go dark via memory. 
All I have to do is attack your knowledge of what you know yourself to be. And once I strip you of that, then I can put in an artif artificial, refabricated, uh, remixed, recontextualized piece into you. Here's your new script. Here's your new ideas about who the fuck you think you are. This is a time of change. But Get there's em. a difference between change and transformation. Get a change is a symbol. A transformation is what the symbol symbolizes. On, See, the transformation is lasting. But you got to take it. You got to take the challenge of transformation. Let, let, me, let me just... You can march white people and say black lives matter. But until you divest the wealth you got from the backs of blacks that made you wealthy, don't, until you divest that. Don't just shake your head, break your bread. Do you see what I'm saying? It's easy to put on a mask. It's easy to say, I got black friends. I went to school with black people. Divest your wealth. Don't just shake your head. Break your bread. Right. Let's go. Don't just shake your head. Break your bread. Okay. Break your bread. Uh, but that's James real. James Broadway. James Broadway. That's real. What, 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 like, like for instance, ain't nobody said nothing about the History Channel. Ain't nobody over there looting the motherfucking History Channel. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the black, the black pharaohs of Nubia. Right. It's an inquiry into the black pharaohs of Nubia. Egypt is Africa's baby brother. That's what people don't understand. Egypt is the baby of the family. Right. All of Africa shares the same belief system. And Egypt is the baby. Oh, well, uh, the black kings of Kush, yes, they at some point warred with the Egyptians, and, and, and there was a time where... Uh, <laughs> your white ass doing here? Right. How did you, you usurper of the truth, become an interpreter of it? Right. You know what we're supposed to be doing when we hear that? <laughs> Do not talk in here. Do you understand? Yo, Arabs, Arab, you are not an Egyptian. You're not. You too, Arab, Araba, to traverse. Right, no That's a nomad. After the Roman Empire fell in Egypt, quote unquote, we know Kemet for the super blackity blackity black niggas. Kemet. Right. Uh, right. Right? Black, 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 black. Anyway, after that empire fell, the Arabs swooped in. Your name is Arab because you're a wanderer. Right, right. That's what that means. Walking around with that man. Y'all niggas walking around. You understand? So you're not Egyptian. Walking around to you. You're actually forth. Muslim. You're Muslim. And you're currently in violation of the Arabic mandate called shirk. You're going against the laws of Allah because you ain't blew up the motherfucking pyramids. Mm. But you ain't gonna do that because that's commerce. That's business. We saw the rest of your people around the different areas of the Middle East blow up old temples. Wow. Because they were radicals and fundamentalists for Islam. But you ain't doing that in Egypt because it's too much tourist money. So you've been compromised too. Do you understand? Egypt is the baby. Every African belief system is the same belief system, just different terminology. The Dogon seemed different than the ancient Egyptian, but he's not. 
As a matter of fact, he escaped when Rome collapsed or when Rome took over. He escaped and went to Mali. And this is how we know about Sirius A, B, and C. And this is how we know about the Nomos. And this is how we know about Ptolemo. Ptolo, the name of the star. These are old Egyptian belief systems. You can go to South Africa, the same thing in South Africa. Go to West Africa, same thing in West Africa. Nature, netur, nature, gods, all of that stuff is ours. But they keep you away from that because that connects you to the oldest ancestor you got. Do you know who the oldest ancestor we got is, Jeff? I do not, sir. Enlighten me. Do you? Jesus. <laughs> I'll throw this motherfucker. Don't say no motherfucker. How do that wake you up? Look at Jeff. That motherfucker said Jesus. I stood on. I can't get words out. The Jesus. banks of Jordan. One day. I had to make you remember what What the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Your oldest ancestor is God. That's what the African believes. Your oldest ancestor is God. And Western religion made sure. I disconnect you from that knowledge. Mm. I put you to sleep. I put you in a state of a spiritual amnesia. Mm. That's why you can't unify. That's why we have to fucking have a motherfucking societal exorcism to get white belief systems out of our mind, to get white definitions out of our mind, to get white justifications out of our mind. See, it's easy for motherfuckers to march with you, but is it easy for them to divest in the institutions? Jeff? Uh, I love something that you just said by default. You know how you like the color. When you color blue, you use 30 different shades. You use the big crayon box to make a blue, and then I come with my faux crayons and just get it <laughs> blue now. <laughs> if you use, like I say, to the Jasper at Shade Tree House Coons, who say. Wait, you have to say it fast. <laughs> you can't say it slow. Cause it, I, it has to come out like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at this point, from now it, on. It can yeah. never be cavalier. <laughs> yes. The Jasper at Shade Tree House Coons, I speak to. <laughs> who say, I am, I am spiritual. I am not religious. Oh, yeah? Does your God have a name? Then you are religious, period, period. With that base thinking, anytime you say the name Jesus, you can be interrupted with, uh-uh. That's a white concept of who God is. Anytime you hear it start with a J, that's a white concept of God, and we're going to have a hard time. Because you are starting, you are starting on a different board. It's going to be almost impossible to get entire alignment with you because we're playing Monopoly, and as soon as you spit out Jesus, you're on some shoots and ladders type shit. That's, it's not even the same. You must, must abandon all white thought, and I know how comfortable it is. You even painted in black. He made a shoots and made ladders him, reference. Made I'm him sorry. nice and comfy. <laughs> you turned him. You, you turned him black and wrote all these cool songs about him. Mm. You have to let that go. I'm sorry, but yeah, you're 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 praying to the wrong. You, you remember last week? Are you my God? Are you my God? Which is why you keep getting. Uh, Residual benevolence. Residual benevolence. And you trying to, you keep getting blessing dust. Blessing Blessing dust. dust. You keep getting. uh, 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 The uh, Hindu would call the blessing dust vibhuti. Yes. You getting great, you getting grace chips. Vibhuti. 
You're getting a little hunk of grace here and a, and a smidgen of grace, whatever the God's door you knock on that is not yours has left over because he's giving his followers that shit. Christianity and slavery are the same. Stop making them different. They are the same. Just like Tab Cola is Nigga. slavery. Tab, T-A-B, that pink or, bottle or, of poison. Yeah, yes. Or R-C, that's cold. He's making such a poignant point. I don't want it to fly by you. That was, listen, if, if the food created by Monsanto is poison, do you understand? Brother? What makes it poison? Brother? Because it's synthetic. It's not real. It's food-like. Christianity and Islam and Judaism are God-like. Spiritual-like. Why? The shit was created as a mental and spiritual governor. This is why you adorn yourself with the symbols. Hmm. You don't have what it symbolizes. And, and when I say you don't have it, oh, it, man. Oh. it doesn't mean it's not oh. in you. It means you haven't made contact yet. Brother, brother, did you just describe the $70,000 car in the hood? <laughs> you, go ahead, Did Jeff. you just describe the closet full of Air Jordans with no savings account? Did you just, you have the symbol. You don't have the other shit. Like you niggas back in the day that had land cruisers and landlords. You don't GMO spiritualities. <laughs> Look at this. Niggas that take pictures with money. Do you understand? Do you understand what you're saying? Ah. You're saying that I have so much money that I can allow this much to not work for me. And that's the difference between you and Warren Buffett. Ooh. That's the difference between you and Tony Robbins. The Ooh. difference between you and Bob Kiyosaki. The difference between you and Grant Cardone and these those rich motherfuckers I just rattled off. They don't take pictures next to money. You know why? Because they know that they pimps and money ain't nothing but green hoes. And they got their money out working mm. while you got these hoes laid up next to you. In the words of Pretty Tony in the Mac, you ain't no player. You running a rest haven for hoes. That's what your money is when you take a picture with it. Mm. It's a rest haven for your hoish ass mind. Mm. 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 That money right there could be stacked up and earning you some money, but no. Hey, and I'm gonna tell you something else. I'm gonna tell you something else. You better recognize that Willie Lynch is still alive. Mm. The idea, the concept, you better not, youngsters, Listen to your big brother. You better not let these motherfuckers gas you by saying y'all the generation that did it. Yes, y'all motherfuckers did do it. But stand in solidarity with those you represent, which is us. Stand in solidarity. Don't let them use an aspect of the Willie Lynch letter to separate you, a young against the old. Remember, yes, you were at the forefront. Yes, you were out here handling your motherfucking business. Yes, when a lot of older brothers were sitting back and scared to motherfucking lose some shit, you was out there getting your motherfucking bang on. I got you, but I tell you this, don't let them divide you. You better be wise enough to recognize that we all one flock, old, young, male, female, attractive, unattractive, skinny, fat, like whatever. Dog. Don't let them motherfuckers gas you. We the one, this is the last generation. Hey, don't let them motherfuckers gas you because they good at gas lighting. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you understand? If you don't know what a, a gas lighting is, look up the term gas light so you can understand what it means. It means to be manipulated. How? Motherfucker could come in and just doubt everything you believe, everything you experience, and doubt it so much that you start believing that your facts weren't right even though you experienced some shit. 
They do it in the movies all the motherfucking time. It was a movie called Gaslighting. Do you understand? Gaslighting is a form of psychological ma manipulation that seeks to sow seeds of doubt in a targeted individual or in members of a targeted group. Millennials, youngsters, making them question their own memory, perception, and sanity. America did it through history. Uh, you Arabs are, uh, every time they show, you see that new bust of uh, 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 King Tut? They made him look like an Arab. Yeah, I saw that. How when the goddamn bust is what the bust, pull up the goddamn gold mask, the gold funeral mask of King Tut. That motherfucker looked like Tiger Woods. <laughs> and King Tut looked like LeVar Burton. No, no, I'm saying that mask. Right. Looks like Tiger Woods but King right Tut. now. Right. No. Right now. <laughs> no. I'm saying the Egyptians got it right. When you see that oh, funeral mask. Oh, I see what mask, you're saying, yeah. When you see that funeral mask, that's what that motherfucker looked like. Period. Then you pull up that other picture of this slack jaw. <laughs> this motherfucker <laughs> looked like he got eight oh, overbites. That's the new one. That's Nefertiti. That's Nefertiti, yeah. I was just putting up. Oh, just you put up anything. Just oh. uh, okay. Back Quick, I need an African head. <laughs> hey, let me just say this right now. Sugar Chris, Sugar Chris just hit us with fifty dollars in the super chat. Sugar Chris, I appreciate you. I appreciate everybody. Let me find some other people in here who have donated. Uh, LJ Mac 03 hit us with ten dollars. Let's see who else we got. V D P. Uh, uh, Zylon, Pharaoh, Substance, these false symbols of change are nothing. Reparations, ADOS, keep teaching, Baba Zo. I am a Baba, damn. Oh shit. What the fuck? Andrew Roberts, uh, Neguan, Guan Nega. Okay, <laughs> he gave us $1.99. We appreciate everybody in here. I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, please, man. It's 1,300 folks in here right wow, now beautiful. almost 1400 beautiful. everybody should hit the like button beautiful. everybody should hit the like button and let me just say this before we go to jeff brown's intellectual rant can you please hit jeff on his cash app right now sarah put up his cash app thank you brother put up his cash app substance over symbols we got to get rid of feeling satiated by eating. What's that uh, that bullshit you be eating? Because I know you didn't ate this shit before, Jeff. What are you talking about? <laughs> that that airy popcorn patty. Oh, Don't act like you ain't ate one of them cake. little rice cakes. The little, the, the little rice That's kind of shit you eat. I tried, dog. No, I tried rice cake. Rice cake tastes like styrofoam. I don't fuck with it. I understand what you're saying. But what I'm saying yeah, is... You saying that placebo ass, I'm going to eat this like it's that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We got to stop. Look at that yeah. little boy. Yeah. Look at that little boy. That's King Tut, but that ain't the one. It, all you have to do is type in gold that look like Lala. funerary. That's it right there. But that's not the one. The, the gold mask. Don't that look like Lala? But that's him. That's him. That's a little brother right there. Why is it so difficult? Why, If he was white or pale or any other color, why would they paint him the color of burnt brass? Unless he bricks. Yeah, thank you. That boy looked like one of them bricks on the side of the, right? on the, side of the chimney brown. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, he looked like El Pollo Local Chicken. That, that well oh done, that God. sunset brown chicken. Mm, that's some good Do you chicken. understand? Pioneer. Mm. He looked like Pioneer. Chicken. History is a symbol, and it's not the truth. White people, you want to tell the truth? Tell the truth about history. Tell the truth about civilization. Who started it all? Who taught y'all? who y'all betrayed, who you continue to betray. If you want to tell the truth, tell the truth. Disband the History Channel. Who, look, that's that boy at 18. Right. That's Tiger Woods. Yeah. Yeah. That's that boy at 18. Yeah. That's the king. Yeah. That king go three under par right now. Pull up the, <laughs> pull, that, get right. Pull up that goofy ass, that goofy ass, uh, uh, the reimagined, recreated. Uh, how do you reimagine that? 
It looked like the artisans who did that knew exactly what the mm. fuck they was doing. How about it? It seemed like they were actually artists, right? Yes. It didn't seem like these niggas was trying to figure out art or had to go to an art class yeah. and, and get better at art. Right. It looked like they understood what the fuck they was doing, yes. right? That face is in proportion. That face is in proportion. Look at that mouth. I done seen people with mouths like that. Look at the nose. Look at the eyes. Let's knock it the fuck. Oh, <laughs> if you want to help black people, oh. tell the mother fucking truth. Oh, you have to see this one. Oh, now pull up the goofy picture these white people said is him. What they said? What the what the goofy ass white people said? <laughs> Hold on, Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Right show them what the goofy ass white people said, please. Would hit the like them? button in the chat room. We need everybody to hit the like button. We only got 700 likes. What's these old goof ass white folks that say? What the no. fuck is that? That's what they say. <laughs> who the fuck? Now, who in the entire fuck is, is that? that? Who the fuck is that? <laughs> First off, your skin tone is in the wrong time zone. Right? You're going to get burnt to a motherfucking jerk chicken crisp with that skin tone out there. Knock it the fuck off. And who who gave him that Egyptian fade? That ain't that. that. Awesome. With that hairline. Nigga. What's up with this? And them teeth. <laughs> you he a look pharaoh. Like, he looked like the old point guard from the Sacramento <laughs> Kings, Michael Bibby. <laughs> you don't. I, I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it now. He does. He looks like Mike Bibby. Ah, if you don't get Mike Bibby off the motherfucking screen. No. Okay, I ain't saying nothing. But you know, back in the day, people used to have oh, the, the, the special needs family they didn't bring out. He looked like Mike Bibby, retarded brother. There's like a, like Down syndrome Mike right. Bibby. Well, that's the Man, you got your back and wow. Might have a basketball. They well, got him the, at the stage. That's the king of Egypt, Down syndrome baby. <laughs> Mike, you got <laughs> your basketball. They got him down at the stadium, little Ricky. Little Ricky, they got him at the stadium. Mike, you got his basketball. I ain't going to play. Oh, shit. That's what he's doing. Sorry, that's what he's doing. I'm saying. I'm saying. Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Put that picture back in there. Mike. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. You got your back to my mind. Mine. I was the king, Mike. I was the king long time ago. You got your back to my mind. They gave him a whole buck tooth. <laughs> oh my god. So Mike. So again. So again. This is just the history part. Okay, back about my this is head. just the history part. The hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. The hypocrite. Yeah. The medicine came from Imhotep, the yeah, first damn. doctor, the window, first scientist. Window liquor up there talking about that's King Tut. If you don't get the fuck away from me with that shit. Do you understand? <laughs> the hypocrisy goes on and on and on and on. You get the father of philosophy and Socrates. These motherfuckers waited 20 and 40 years to get into the ancient mystery school to where they got the notion of philosophy. You stole everything. You stole spirituality. You burned down Alexandria, the books, uh, the, 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 the library. Stop acting like you motherfuckers ain't been treacherous throughout history. You want to fix it then you got to undo what you've done to the world. Not just her children. Her children are the black people of the world. Mm. Mm. But not only did you destroy them, mm. you destroyed the mother of the children. The world itself. You want to fix it, you got to undo what you've done. You got to take responsibility for what you've done. Do you do right by me? That's what you got to do. We ain't even going to get into the economics. You know you made economics the way it, it is. You know you did that on purpose. You know racism is attached to the amount of money a black man can make. That's why you have notions like your money is no good here. You don't give a fuck how much money you got, nigga. Right. You can't live right. over here. 
You can hit Powerball and can't live over here. You can't live over here. So redlining, right? How is it that African-American children, right? Even when they reach high degrees, whether it's diploma, uh, AS, BS, uh, whatever, BA, master's degree, how is it that they're still four years behind the white counterpart at the same level of achievement in reading, writing, and arithmetic? How is it that they're still four years behind? You know what you've done. Stop standing in solidarity and start breaking that bread. That's right. Stop shaking your head. Break your goddamn bread. Jeff Brown's intellectual rant, goddamn it. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the share button. And for all those who have hit the super chat, more people have hit it. Antoine Ellis, thank you, brother. Uh, uh, Benjamin Jacob, thank you, brother. And AJ Jackson, thank you. Uh, AJ is kind of, uh, what would that word be? Neutral? Gender neutral name? AJ? Oh, yeah, because I know an AJ Sanders and an AJ Jamal. Right, so it yeah. could be, yeah, yeah, so I don't know if you're a dude, but thanks, family. Okay, family. Jeff Brown. Family. We'll go with Intellectual me. rant, time to go, let's do it. Yes, oh, wow, wow. Heated as usual today. Um, Y'all been getting it from us, uh, the truth, regular. Well, from the world, you've been getting your truth regular. And you've always come here to get your truth extra crispy. Because you like your truth extra crispy. <laughs> extra crispy truth. You like your truth with some nigga and some hold of the boko sha and some, 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 you understand? And some, yeah. Boko sha. Yes, you like your, you, you like all that in your truth. Well, <laughs> The regular truth has become uglier. So must then the extra crispy truth. The rawer it gets where you at, the rawer we gonna get. And all we are doing is putting exclamation points on the periods, commas, and dot, dot, dots that we've been giving you for over 10 fucking years. It's here. It's here. We weren't prophets. We just saw some shit you didn't. Or maybe that is the definition of prophecy. I see some fucking shit that you don't. Nigger. <laughs> Here's some gaslight insurance for you. I know it's comfortable to just look on the screen and take it for face value. Whatever they said is what they said, and what it is is what it is. Ain't that the easiest shit in the world to do? To just look at CNN and go, well, I guess that's what it is. They said it right there. They said it right there. Ask yourself, why am I seeing what I am seeing? Why am I seeing? A handcuffed man shot in the back. Why am I being allowed to see that? Why am I being allowed to see a black man shot in the street with a shotgun? Why am I being allowed to see a man have the life snuffed out of him by another man's knee and the man on the ground looked like me. Why am, I, why am I seeing that? Why is this in my programming? Because if you don't ask yourself why, they gonna forever have your monkey ass chasing your tail. Remember when people used to make fun of you for saying they? Mm. Mm. Well, who is they? Who is they? Who the fuck is they? As you if talking they about? didn't exist. The man? Who is the man? Who is the white man? Well, explain the they, though. Yes. I had to break that down uh, to uh, uh, Dennis Miller. 
on uh, the Politically Incorrect show I was on that didn't air because I was on September 10th. It was supposed, it was supposed to air September 11th. Anyway, uh -huh. oh, wow. who is the white man? Well, the white man is any man who does not admit and atone for and make right what the European white man has done for the past 500 years to this earth. And if that ain't, if you don't, then God damn it, that's you. What mindset are you under? What is governing what the fuck you do? Why are you letting it make you mad? What you gonna do with your anger? Go out and burn some shit up? Or put Atlanta on Jeff Brown's list? Pretty pleased with sugar on top. If you are looking for them, I still have the PDFs of the letters that I send to the CD CEOs in Minnesota that have to do with the financial death of that state. I will take it upon myself to find who we are going to financially terrorize in Atlanta. Someone in Atlanta needs to be financially choked to death for the death of our brother. We're going to stop using names. The names are unimportant. Can you tell me who died in the Holocaust by name? You cannot because the names are unimportant. What is important is that those people have made it their business to teach their children and their children's children to not let this happen again. So I say again, I don't even want to talk about that brother's name who was on the ground. Unimportant to the story. What is important is that we find some innocent, some innocuous, innocent, big business to punish financially. That is what you do. Find these businesses and make them pay by not paying. Everything you buy from a big business is available from a small black one. Everything. There is nothing you can think of. If you really want to, you can buy a small black African car if you really want to. Everything. Yes, there are African car makers, black people who make cars in Africa. We are going to have to find and depend upon what the fuck is that you're showing me right now? That's King Tut. <laughs> oh, that's King Tut? It looked like Boy George, a bloated Boy George? No, that's yeah, no. I'm sorry, Jeff, continue. We are going to have to find respect, love, and count on one another. If you don't do that, there's a body bag with your number on it. I'm done. Really? Yes. Because uh, I was gonna go go on how uh, uh, mothers the mothers that ain't shit. Yeah, I'll keep going. If you like? Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, the shit uh, just shocked the fuck out of okay. me. Because <laughs> stop hiding behind the pronoun. Stop hiding behind the pronoun, mother. That's what happens. <laughs> there is dignity on the pronoun single mother. There's dignity on, no, I'm sorry. There's dignity on the pronoun mother. There is extra sauce on single mother because that's a motherfucker of a job. Mm -hmm. And I salute those of you who do it well. That is a motherfucker of a job. Brother. Especially for those who are hard-headed and don't listen. How about it? Now, that puts me here. <laughs> mother. Mama. Mother is the pronoun that, that garners all the respect and admiration that we all have for our mothers. It is them goddamn adjectives that fuck you around. Abusive mother. Horrible mother. Neglectful mother. Disrespectful mother. Same applies Angry. to daddy. Yes. No, I ain't talking about that daddy because daddy, horrible daddies are a given. Yeah. Horrible mothers aren't even a fucking variable. Mm. 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 I'm not saying, again, I ain't saying, uh, and this ain't just for single mothers. It's some married mothers that ain't shit. 
and some of you that ain't shit hide behind the dignity preserved for the pronoun mother when your adjectives ain't shit. Ooh. Work on your adjectives. Ooh. Now I'm done. Ooh, shit. Being mad at his daddy don't mean you can use that as a coupon to Thank shirk you. your responsibility Thank you. to imbue integrity. And if you ain't got integrity, put the kid around somebody that Who does, does so they can model them more than they model you. That would be the greatest thing you could do as a mother. But that you, means you deserve flowers on Mother's Day but you know and why chocolates. That's, you know why that's probably not going to happen? Because in order to put them around somebody who has integrity over yourself would require more integrity than you have. Oh. The upper room. Gonna be honest with it. <laughs> when you gonna be gonna tell the truth about it. Everybody got a part in this. Oh. Everybody got a part in the evil, except the wrong, except wrong black women. <laughs> Mitch McConnell. AKA bitch McConnell. <laughs> we paid for the sin, our sin of slavery by electing Obama. Wow. wow. Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's remarks over the last week have been making headlines, but the latest may be the most controversial. When asked about reparations for slavery, excuse me, on the eve of a House hearing on the issue, McConnell said reparations for something that happened 150 years ago for whom none of us currently living are responsible. We are not, uh, we're not a good idea. It, it's not a good idea. Besides, he suggested acts such as electing Barack Obama could be considered a form of compensation. So, intertone talks. See, let me tell you something about America. America is the master of propaganda. It is the master of illusion and lies. It's easy for us to get behind black people. I told you this before, but when I was young, it didn't matter what was on TV. If some black people was in the show, my mama made me come yeah. watch it. Mm -hmm. Period. Period. Come, come see yourself. There's some black people on TV, get in here and see this shit. Right. Do you understand? Let me just keep it 100. Barack Obama is not ADOS, Ascendant. Please. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Not even close. American descendant of slavery. He's not. He ain't from around nobody's way. Got a white way. mama. Thank you. He ain't from around nobody's way. Got a Kenyan daddy. <laughs> yep. Had a whole different life. Was sheltered. I'm telling you, the weight, listen, the, you, you, you pull out your dollar bill. Right? Who got a dollar bill? Somebody give me a dollar bill. Uh, I got one. I think I'm old school. I still care about dollar. I think I got a dollar. All right, there we go. All right. You pull out this motherfucking dollar bill, man. Novus Ordo Selectum. New World Order. This shit has been in place. Please. These motherfuckers don't do shit haphazardly. At all, ever. Hollywood is the little perverted pedophile version of politics. Woo! I need y'all to understand it's the. <laughs> It's the little brother of that shit. The real stories and lies that get pushed to you is pushed via politics. Anut concept, he, God, has undertaken our favors. He got our back, God got our back. They put this on the money here. New world order. You understand? I'm saying this to say, these motherfuckers don't do shit on a whim. Oh, make a left right here. Uh-uh. <laughs> Ain't no make a left right here, nigga. 
If we gonna get a black president, he's gonna be after a disastrous white one. Please understand. Come on, bro. Come on. And Long before you heard of him, mm -hmm. this and dude was in play. And we gonna sandwich him. Mm -hmm. A disastrous white one, costs us trillions of dollars, cash and carry. That's what they said the Bush administration was. Cash and carry, him and Cheney. We finna get this bread. Right, and set all our boys up to get the bread. We finna get the opium, we finna get the oil, we finna get all the cash and carry, we finna knock down buildings, all false flag. We finna do all this. Horrible president. This man tried to kill my father. Ooh. Remember in Doug, in that, Doug in that shoe? Right. Now, right after him, who you get? Right. We gonna make the racist mad. The most studious, articulate, well spoken, well accomplished, accomplished, beautiful black family. Symbol. Symbols cannot take precedent over substance. Right, right. He was the perfect symbol. This will raise the self-esteem of the black man to see a oh, black man in the one This day, was the ultimate gaslight. One, 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 one day, my son, he, he gonna see that and he, he can, he can, he can, he can, he can be saying if you don't shut the fuck up with that. How this, come your son don't know shit about Marcus Garvey? Oh, no. This was the how ultimate. How about your son? How come your son don't know nothing about Haile Selassie? Mm. Does your son know anything about the Haitians keeping the white folks out? Oh, no. No, he don't know nothing about that. He got to look up way over here and see this motherfucker right here. Shame on you. This was the ultimate gaslight. White people got richer. Black people got poorer. He bombed Libya and Gaddafi, yes. another black nation, a yes. black man bombing a, come on, come on. Yes. We got to, do you understand? It's a symbol. It's not substance. How come he wasn't raised in Compton? Yeah. How come you didn't find that version of a man in Compton? Because They do care. exist. No, he yeah. don't. No, no way. Yeah. Oakland. No. Brooklyn. LA. No. All the places they keep niggas. This dude, and when we say niggas, we talking about black people who go back generations. Sure. All the way back to slavery. That's a that's a distinct group of people. That's Michelle now. So when Tone talks and Yvette Carnell comes in and goes, wait a minute, that's a distinct group of people. And there are others of our brothers and sisters from different countries coming in and riding that way sure. Sure. and getting benefits that we don't get, i.e. Minnesota, you got the Arab chick, what's her, Oman or something? Oh, oh. She's over there advocating for immigrants and they create a safe haven for Somalis to go there. But George Floyd got COVID and is broke. And he from, oh, okay, so do, do you see, there's a distinction. Yeah, where he from? So what did he do when he talked about the plight of the black man? He blamed the, the black, black man. man. You gotta do better. He mentioned bootstraps. Fuck you mean when there's system, listen, genius from Harvard, constitutional lawyer, Fuck you mean bootstraps when you know there's redlining. There was Jim, Jim Crow were laws. These are laws, bro. Well, 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 well here's what he's going to bring up. He's going to bring up the uh, nuclear astrophysicist who made it out of Brooklyn or Houston or Cleveland or Chicago or Detroit, whose mama was a crackhead, whose daddy wasn't there, whose brother uh, 
was, is doing life, and he studied by candlelight with no food in order to make it. That's who they're going to find, this obscure motherfucker here, when not understanding that your very ha having to search for this obscure motherfucker is the vulgar problem. Mm. The fact that in order to survive, we must be fucking incredible. Oh yeah. That Keep all going, the incredible of us. Keep going, Jeff. What you do is you call them and take them out. Oh, that's what you do. You find the ones that run the furthest and throw the furthest, run the fastest, run the furthest, run the strong, uh, the, are the strongest, fastest, jump the highest, sing the prettiest, act the best. You take right. all of them, you take all of them and you pull them out and you give them these trinkets. And then you convince them that where you pulled them from is not where they should go or where their trinkets should go. Right. So you leave the quote unquote weak among us, which actually is untrue. These are just the people who for whatever reason didn't make your guidelines, didn't, didn't uh, uh, make your minimum requirements, but you leave them there and you leave them there to fend for themselves. And then you turn around, give them poison and attack them for selling it. He sold That's us. That's the whole game. He sold us. And he a part of it. Aspirational heroin. Uh, hope. Oh yeah. Yeah, keep the hope. The audacity. The audacity to dream. Change. You can rise up regardless of my children. This system has showed us yeah. just in the last few weeks. Fuck hope. We done fucked off the black people. We done did this and we done did that. And he never said it. He was a perfect president in a steward kind of capacity. Yes. A steward is not the rightful person to sit in the seat of governance. A steward holds the seat for the rightful ruler. That's what a steward is. You see, you see Gandalf come in, 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 in uh, 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 Lord of the Rings. Gandalf comes into the great hall of Gondor and the steward of Gondor is sitting in the throne because they know the heir of Aragon is supposed to be the king. Hmm. And they know he's still alive. So you and are, he can, you you're are a, a steward. Seat filler. You're a seat yeah. filler. Yeah. You were a steward and you did it. You did the presidency the way Stephen A does sports. Mm. <laughs> Oh, do you see? Stephen A can talk oh, the jeepers. biggest shit yes. ever. And Stephen A, no. stop stealing my shit. Wait, let me say this. Wait, let me say this. Fucking wait, thief, wait, I'm gonna wait. talk about that when you get done. Wait, 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 wait. Let me say this. Let me replace Stephen A with Jason Whitlock. Why? Ugh. Obama did the presidency the way Jason Whitlock does sports. Capitulation. Uh, 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 towing, boot licking, uh, yes, sir, uh, master. the black man is always the motherfucking problem. And oh, Barack Obama did it in a slightly more clever and more classy way. This man, a uh, 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 professor at Harvard, had to break into his own house because he locked himself out. The police came and arrested him. Barack invites the police to have a beer. But we're not gonna address. They ain't gonna hit him with a how dare you. Profiling. Like, they ain't gonna hit him with a how dare like, you. What the fuck are you doing here in this house? Man, I own this house. I, I, I'm a professor at Harvard. No, nah, nigga, let's go to jail. Yeah. Let me show you how much Barack don't love himself. How the hell you gonna have a beer with a motherfucker who had you taken a different route? Could have been you. You could have been a professor at Harvard. You would have been a black man in a nice house around Harvard that forgot your keys, broke into your own house, and got arrested by the motherfucker that you had a beer with. And I told people, I told people, no disrespect to the brother, I voted for the brother in 2008. I voted for the brother. But let's keep it 100. <laughs> 
I told people, just a symbol, right? No substance here, just a symbol. Do you understand? Why is the brother just a symbol? Because this is one of the first presidents, if not the only president to have ever had to govern under the duress of stereotype threat. If he shows anger, he's the angry black man. Yes. If he shows too much swag, he's low class. Do you understand? He yes. couldn't even wear a tan suit yeah. yes. without it becoming the rage of everything. He had to operate the presidency in such a state of capitulation. And George Bush Jr. was never anything other than a good old boy. And now understand Ever. this, sandwiched between George W, after Barack spends eight years there, boom, who comes next? A fucking monkey reality show star who slings his old, shriveled, neutered nutsack all over the White House in such a disrespectful way, he could only get away with it because of his skin color. Right. Well, here, do you think it's a coincidence? Here, what are we gonna do? Okay, these have all, all of these presidents have played their role in keeping Novus Oro Seclorum going. in place, yes. going where it is supposed to be. I have said this countless times. The presidency is the front seat of a roller coaster, a predetermined roller coaster. That president, the dude in the front seat, does not determine how fast you go, how many turns you take, how many people come with you, none of that. He just sits in the front. Obama's job was to take over for an idiot and be so eloquent and so good at it that the rampant running bigots right now would be incensed by his presence. Mm. Then when he left, it's time to destroy the seat because America has outlived its usefulness as a construct. We don't make shit anymore, but bombs and the threats to drop them. Ain't nobody else driving these raggedy motherfuckers we call cars nowhere on the planet. Go and check it out. <laughs> so we put this monkey in the seat to destroy the seat, to make you beg. Do you know how close you are to global domination when the White House gates say we need help getting him out? Do you know what that means? Who do you think they're asking? They're not asking the Detroit Pistons to help them. <laughs> they're asking the rest of the world. And when they say, oh, well, okay, nigga, watch out. And then the only answer, the answer that's been floating around ever since 1865 and probably beyond is unity. But you can't unify if you identify with him. Thank you. In any way. But see, you, identify, you might uh, disagree with him politically, but you identify with his lifestyle. You identify with his wealth. You identify with his access. You understand? You identify with White's definition of success. And the only way to know if white people are serious about their solidarity is to come off that bread. Un Period. Period. the cash. Mm -hmm. And Period. don't crash the dollar after you pay it. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Or before. Okay. Do you see? Right. Do you see? Or before. Do you see? Again, you don't want to concede nothing. You want to do a human Ponzi scheme. That's what you want to do. And all I'm simply saying is, this motherfucker could have been Hulk Hogan. Right. The type right. of person he is, that could have been, listen here, Gene, what we're going to do, brother, brother, we're, we're going to go right to, right, What's the, what's the, we're going to go to China. You understand, brother? What you going to do when the great red, white, and blue bust off all over you? Right, right. 
He he's an actor to the highest level. Yeah. He could have had uh, Ren, uh, Macho Man Randy Savage as vice president. Ooh, yeah. Listen, bro. We're going to go in there, me and Elizabeth. And we're going to go in. And I'm going to drop the hammer on him. Exactly. Him. That's it. That for, for what we watch it, you might as well. This is a motherfucking show. And Obama was a part of it. He is a leading yeah. cast member in this Thank you. show. Thank you. And all I'm saying is, just like the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said earlier that his teacher, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, he said, our unity has the power of an atomic bomb. And it does. And we have to start working together. We got to stop being little soft bitch ass motherfuckers who stop fucking with each other because we disagree. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Can we disagree on the same side of the ball, please? Is God that damn. Oh, speaking of the ball, speaking of the ball, uh, I'm going to take Minnesota a little further next week. Uh, this time next week, I will have the uh, names of the Minnesota Twins roster. I will have the names of the Minnesota Timberwolves and Vikings rosters, and I will be calling on us, if they suit up and take the field, to shame these black men by name. Mm. The same goes for Atlanta. I will have the roster of the Braves. I will have the roster of the Falcons. I will have the roster of the Hawks. And any black men who take the field for or against any players on these teams are to be shamed by us. Baseball, football, basketball, no, you don't get that. We should own that anyway. We should talk about it because there's a kind of a rift in the league. Mm -hmm. LeBron wants to come back, other players do not. Kyrie doesn't want to come back, uh, Dwight Howard doesn't want to come back because this is a bigger moment. Dwight. And Kyrie, I guess Dwight sided with Kyrie, basically saying, you know, sports and entertainment is a big ass distraction. Right. And it'll garner so much attention that what's happening right now will get lost in the sauce of the media onslaught. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, Sarah, Sarah, uh, could, could you do me a favor? Yeah. There's a picture of uh, Jim Brown, Bill Russell, uh, 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 all of them together, Muhammad Ali, Muhammad Ali. all of them. All of them. Please find that picture. All you niggas who suit up, all you niggas, to, and, and Le LeBron, I love you. I love you. I love everything you've been doing. You are my favorite player of all time because of the shit you do when you're not sweating. All, uh, uh, all of you. I was about to say, he doesn't really know basketball, so. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I get a point. Because I of all of the shit you do when you're not sweating is what he said. Okay, continue. Yes. Yes. You can only, dear athlete, I don't give a fuck how high you jump, how fast you run. One day you ain't gonna be able to ask Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I don't care how Ooh. fast, ask him. Ask Michael Jordan, ask him. Ooh. You are only that fast, that strong for a season, which means you cannot be great. Seasonally There is good. no such thing as a great athlete. You're just good. Just what makes you great now. is what you do when you take a shower and use your platform, which makes Muhammad Ali the greatest. Oh, but you got to look at Kareem, too. Kareem. Brother Kareem, great. You got to look at motherfucker great. Jim Brown, Great, too. Yeah. great. I don't give a fuck about your record. I don't give a fuck about your touchdowns, home runs, points scored. Fuck all that. That's stats, nigga. Tapping That's numbers. Points. What did you do for your people with your platform? If you want to be great, that is the metric. What did you do for your people with your platform, period. We're gonna call this new segment Taffy Points, where Jeff stretches out one point. <laughs> the fuck? Says it over and over Taffy again points. and stretches it out really long, but that's fine. <laughs> we love it, it was a great point. But again. Yes. There it is right you there. You are either on that page or you are not. Now. If you suit up and play, you do not deserve to be on that page, Wait, period. Hold on, Jeff. 
Look, you didn't said that four times. Because it need to be said. Now let me know. jump in here. Shit, man! Put that picture back. <laughs> shit, shit! God damn it! Shit! <laughs> okay, Quincy Jones got mad in the meeting. Go. Shit, man! God damn! You know, you take up all the air in the room. You know, shit. <laughs> Make space. You know, it's giving and taking and sharing. You know, shit. You know. <laughs> The fuck, man? It's give and take, you know? You, you're squeezing God out of the room, you know? You're squeezing God out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me just say this. No, this is, this is real talk right here, man. You got to factor in where LeBron might be coming from. There's a lot of players like Dwight, like Kyrie, and like LeBron, that can be like, all right, nigga, I don't have to come back. Dame Lillard, Dame Lillard was like, I'm good. If my team don't have a chance to win it, I'm not coming back. Because they got this new little right. order of how the teams are going to be. He's like, I'm enjoy my summer. He's like, fuck it. If if we don't have an opportunity to win, I'm I'm not I'm not playing. But they 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 got that second contract. See, when you get that second contract, you get those multiple figures. You get some real bread. You get real bread. Fucking uh, Curry is set to make forty million this year, highest played player in the league. So you got those under tier, mid tier players who are losing twenty five percent of their check because they haven't played, and they're li- people don't understand they live in check to check, and could very well. Be over here with a big ass sign somewhere at an auction trying to sell some shit so they can pay some rents. How's that bad? It's a struggle for a lot of these guys. This is their, this is their fucking motherfucking way of life. They're so there are some people at different tiers. And so maybe LeBron might be considering those guys by saying, yo, it's time to get back on the floor for them. I don't necessarily have to get back on the floor because I can do it. But again, I'm going to say it again. What's more important? The opportunity, I, I, I agree with you. The Clippers missed a major opportunity when homeboy, the owner, Sterling, came out and was talking all that, I hate niggers and oh. keep niggers away and then had to sell. But he got off the hook because he sold the Clippers for $2 billion. Yeah. So he all, he, it's almost like he got a parting gift and the gold Rolex for calling brothers niggas on his team, right? Yeah, yes. So, and then when the Clippers came back, all they did was take off their motherfucking uniforms and stand at center court. So there's do a, a tantrum. <laughs> they do a tantrum. They ain't stand in court. Do it, Jeff. They ain't say tantrum. Do it, Jeff. You do can't it. call. You, you can't pay me a lot of money that that I'll get penalized for using on my own people if I go back to the hood. So it's just really. Uh, uh, coupons. You can't just give me these coupons and then say that you don't want me around. I'm going to take off my jersey. That's But I'm going to put it back on in three minutes. In three minutes. What the fuck? What the fuck? I already told y'all what y'all was supposed to do with Donald Trump. You're going to get a hot five minutes of silence for me, buddy. That's right. <laughs> you, you let that be a lesson. Next time it'll be ten. But you, you, you niggas here... Y'all don't want to, and, and when, when Zoe speaks of those other players, uh, I'm going to guarantee you that most of them, maybe not by the adjustment for inflation, but most of them dollar per dollar with no adjustment for inflation, their first contracts are bigger than what Muhammad Ali made. Oh, it's a different time, though. Okay, yes. The only difference is how many times the sun has come up and down. The, 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 no, Jeff. Yes. Sorry. Yes. It's this simple. In order. This is, he says this. In order. It's <laughs> only difference. In order, in order for LeBron's logic to make sense. I didn't say that was LeBron. I said maybe he's In order that. for the, the alleged logic, the perhaps <laughs> logic, the maybe logic of LeBron to make sense. We would have to take it into consideration that there is a particular standard of living that these gentlemen are accustomed to living. Right. To maintain that standard of living is what we're discussing needs to have happen. 
And let me just jump. Because my, I am not. I'm, I'm going to be able to make it without NBA. I don't make NBA money. And my kids don't starve. I don't starve. It is your standard of living. It is your way of thinking. It is the thinking that allows the multi, 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 multi millionaires like Magic Johnson. Uh, and, and this is just, that's just an arbitrary name. Uh, uh, uh. But he got a whole bunch of money. Enough to say, those of you who are willing to sit down with an accountant and change your lifestyle to something that makes sense. But hold on, Jeff. I'll pay 10 of your bills, those of you who need the money. Those of you who need money, I got you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stretch you out over this if you don't play. But hold on, Jeff. You're alluding, and, and I wanna move to the next topic real quick, but you're alluding that the lower tier players are somehow mismanaging their millions. No, I'm saying, no, and let me, forgive me. So forgive help me. us understand that. Forgive me. Um, but regardless to how smart you spend your money, when you spend NBA money and NFL money, you spend that money white. They got white folks lined up to take your money and tell you what's smart to do with it. What I am implying is that the incredibly smart ways that these lower tier NBA players, of course not. I, when I watch ballers, what the fuck is that? None of these lower tier players uh, uh, mismanage their money when they first get it. None of these guys come from dead poor homes and get millions of dollars and fuck it off. Let's pretend that doesn't happen. The people who don't make the money that the LeBrons make are who are being considered. I think they need to be considered financially by the people who make the money the Le LeBrons make. I know it's very simple, it's grossly oversimplified, but it works, doesn't it? If you have more than $10 million in the bank, adopt an NBA player for a season and go, bruh, I got your shit. You're gonna have to pay me back. But hey, listen, I ain't, ain't adopting no grown ass men. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> two, two. <laughs> this was the other point. What the nigga gonna pay me after I adopt? Exactly. Do I get, is this like a loan? Right, all that shit right there. Adopt the nigga. Adopt the nigga. And then once he get back on his feet. That nigga gonna forget about me? Yeah, exactly. No, we can put it in paper. <laughs> we can put it on paper however you want. If you, um, in order to get, you really, want, you really want to get funky? All these places where people are getting evicted soon are places that our athletes come from. Athletes, adopt your city. People that's about to get evicted, find 10 of them and make sure it don't happen. You got the bread. Ain't nobody $12,000 behind in their rent. They $3,000, $6,000. What it costs you on a weekend you blow that on you, Jeff. You, you, you buy out the bar for Jeff, more than that. You're gonna chew up all the time before we get to our I'm last, sorry. I'm sorry. most I'm sorry. important topic. And I'm done. The fuck? Get this nigga off sports. God I know. damn. Hulk <laughs> smash. That way, that's the where the money is. Are dead. Hulk, stop smashing. <laughs> yes, that's where the money is. So let's talk about the lynching. Okay, let's talk about the lynching. Uh, again, those brothers who found themselves hanging from trees, why were they alone? In war, you don't move alone unless you're on a specific mission. Or unless you don't understand that it's war. Unless you don't understand it's war. Most mm -hmm. black people don't know they in a fight till they in a fucking joke hole. This war has been declared upon you. Now, war you, has been, 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 been declared on you. Declared on you. You just seeing the bomb. You don't know it's war till the bombs drop. Oh, okay. You understand? Somebody said, finally, Zo, I got to the topic, right? Strange fruit. Well, finally, somebody hit the goddamn like button. How about it? God damn it. It's 1,500 people in here and we got less than 1,000 likes. So don't finally me. I don't owe you a story or an opinion. But I will tell you this. Be more selective in what you bang on. You want to bang on my, uh, getting my opinion about some shit that you know is wrong. 
You understand? We at war, been at war, public enemy, the group put together. Public enemy has a logo with a black man in and the target in the crosshairs. So we've been at war. But again, until you break up with the covenant of illusion and death, as the minister said, what is illusion and death? Everything they say is the truth. That's illusion and death. The four food groups. The, the four food groups. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Uh, 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 milk does a body good. Milk does a body good. Lactate. Uh, what else? <laughs> uh, every medicine that the shit symptoms you get is worse than the shit you trying to cure. <laughs> Big Pharma. The History Channel. Your education. The worst thing that could happen to most black men in America is a fine European education. Where your grandmama live? Them zip codes? That's some bullshit. Uh, the fact that your elders tried to build businesses in major cities and whenever they got ready to put a freeway in, guess where the fuck they put them? Right over the shit that you done just worked on. That's racism. That's that bullshit. And that's what we talking about. You want to talk again about something equally as tragic as what got as what got everybody charged up already. Sure. Sure. We want to we want to recapture the energy. So you know what it is? Krishnamurti said something very beautiful about that. He said your life is monotonous and empty. He said you'll walk in the park and experience the flower for the first time, right? But then you'll pervert that experience by trying to go back to the park to recapture the initial experience. So this is what you're doing with the next brother that gets hung or shot. We got all this charge and all this energy from George, but now after everything is starting to die down a little bit, we want to go to this brother and recapture the charge. But where we won't put our energy is in each other. Mm. Everybody got some slick shit mm. to say. Everybody want to chase angry. Everybody, everybody want to have... Where else I'm going to be mad at? I ain't going to do shit with it. I'll just... Be angry. Just, yeah, just chasing angry. Everybody want to be the lead voice. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about none of that. Mm, tell them, bro. Tell Let's them. all just work together. Tell them. Unity oh, equals of and and because the minister, the honorable Elijah Muhammad, was way back in the day. He said an atomic bomb. No, this is a nuclear bomb. Our unity, working together. Rocking with each other. Do you know who's about to be rolling in the dough? They was already rolling in the dough because they were started by George Soros. Damn. Black Lives Matter is about to be rolling in the dough. So many donations is coming into Black Lives Matter. But where's Black Lives Matter in your hood? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? 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 Where? Black Lives Matter ain't black reparations, but they receiving dough from all sectors. Whenever white people are in trouble, what do white people do? They throw money at the trouble. Yes. Get it up out of here. Yes. And I'm telling you the best way to do it is How unify. Much? You motherfuckers all won't like a video. It be motherfuckers in here before the video start. Hit the hit the thumbs down. Fuck him. I don't know right. what they about to talk about. Wait, wait. Fuck him. <laughs> Nigga, I don't care what you gonna say. Fuck your thoughts. Fuck your Fuck thoughts. Him. Fuck him. This shit is crazy, man. Now more than ever. ever. 
Farrakhan, whether you agree with everything he says or not, whether you like everything that went down or not, that man is over 85 years old. Is he somewhere around there? And still on the front line. Still on the front line. Still. You got to respect that. And still look great. Yeah. Man, you got to respect that. Still on the front line and still pushing the narrative that we refuse to get all the way down with. But we'll get down with Cl Hillary Clinton, who's, yeah. whose hero was Margaret Sanger. And mad because she didn't get to be president. <laughs> we'll get down with Barack Obama, who hung out with Jeffrey Epstein. Am I supposed to be saying something? I don't know. When green eyed niggas get quiet, I don't know. I'm just saying, we'll gang bang for Biden. Oh, ride hard. Who told you all you are, our cadre of wild animal kids running the streets who want to take on my sons and you know I don't care why you got how you got just lock them up just that's, lock them up that's that's I know we're partly responsible for their creation but just lock them up you're not even black if you don't vote for me is what he said do you understand that your ass is at a motherfucking uh, goddamn Disneyland attraction right now on a motherfucking uh, multi-dimensional, multi-atmospheric ride, and right. these motherfuckers is steering your ass towards a motherfucker who's exactly the same as the nigga they telling you needs to get the fuck Thank out. Thank you. And you know, and, and 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 even more arrogant is to say that if you're not you're not black if you don't vote for me yeah. because you know what white you know what black people do. They vote for me. They vote. We've been doing this Republican boogeyman shit for decades. You know how it goes. I'm not really going to give you anything, but it's election time. So I'm going to come around to your church. Pretend, I'm not going to pretend I like your music. Your music is the bomb. And if I can get it, I really want to fuck one of these broads in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, and you know that just because I came to your church and just because I enjoy your culture, that I get your vote, right? Because that's what black people do, isn't it? Hmm. I'm an old white man. I've seen it for my entire political career. This is what you do. So if you don't do it, you must not be black. Name a famous restaurant in New Orleans that sells chicken. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Papa, no, no, uh, uh. Come on, y'all, in the chat room. This is the final yeah, thing. I don't know. Yeah, Name I don't know. a popular. New Orleans restaurant Popeye. that sells amazing Popeye. chicken. No, amazing. This nigga said Popeyes. Uh, I'm talking about a restaurant with somebody grandmama in the back cooking. Oh, the, the lady that died. I forgot. Oh lord. Come on. Come on. Y'all know. Come on now. We got. We got 1,500 people in the chat room. Name a famous. Eatery. Dookie Chase. Yeah, Dookie, Dookie Chase. Chase. That's it. There we go. And I, let me tell you something. Let me get down. Let me get I down to Dookie nigga. Chase for the photo op. That this. shit is good as hell. Name Dookie. Hold on. Dookie hold on. Chase. Hold on, Jeff. I'm Joe Biden. Yes. I'm going to get down there to Dookie Chase. I'm going to have some of the classic oh. chicken. Right. I'm going to be with the owners and the proprietors. These are, that's a, I'm, I'm, yeah, you're, you're setting up the, pro, the campaign. That's what you're saying to him. Right. He don't even know. And, and, gonna and, go. and I'm going to connect with the people. Yes. I'm with you. I've been fighting for you for decades. And it's time for change. It's been time for change. And when me and Barack were together, 
we tried to implement change that this president is currently trying to undo. But I'm here for you. Ooh, get him, bro. This that chicken. Is, oh, Lord have mercy. That's this prophecy. Chicken. You're going to see it. You're going to see this speech. You'd rather do business with a duplicitous, lying, compromised devil than your own people. And is the symbol, is the, 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 white man, the old liver-spotted white man. <laughs> he's 90 already. Nigga, he's the symbol of why you going through what you going through. <laughs> Do you not get that? Look at him, his life, his we're privilege. We're, his gonna, hey, we're gonna implement plans, <laughs> legislation. We're gonna bring back education to your neighborhood. Sure. We're going, I'm going to infuse cash and small business loans and Put opportunities. Put my money where my mouth is. I, and for, for black and black. This man just came out and said Indians, Native Americans, should also be considered in reparations. He put a, he put a whole nother argument in with the rep. In order to confuse you and make you fight about it. How lost is he about it? Not at all. He's like, that's a, that's a, you ever see uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the war movies and you see the, the, the aircraft when missiles come, they shoot out something called chaff. Mm -hmm. Okay, what chaff is, is the, the missile that's coming keys in on the heat signature of the exhaust of the aircraft. The chaff is anywhere from four to 700 degrees hotter than the exhaust so that it confuses the missile and sends it that way. Right. Here comes the missile of black folks getting their money. They on the right trajectory towards the right legislation. Let me throw in this chaff of Native Americans and it's beautiful <laughs> chaff. It's beautiful chaff. How can you say they don't deserve the money? How can you say they're not minorities? We yeah. fucked them over aren't, too. Wait, aren't you guys? Aren't you Native guys? Americans the ones too? of you with the good hair? Aren't you? You niggas love saying you got Indian in your blood. Why not? Maybe you could get two checks. Yes. Oh. In order, <laughs> in order, that chaff, <laughs> that chaff is thrown in order to make the missile miss its target. Let me murk up the waters. Yes. Anybody ordered murky waters? <laughs> Let me just say, man, we don't have all the answers. We're not the most intelligent motherfuckers in the world. We just have a unique perspective, man. And I'm gonna say it again. I appreciate everybody for coming in here. We 1,500 deep. Uh, I appreciate everybody for 1,100 likes, only four dislikes. Only four. That's fine. That's not bad. Uh, That's below average. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate everybody for sharing. Uh, we understand that it's a tough time economically for Absolutely. everybody. We Absolutely. understand that. And that's why I constantly urge you guys uh, uh, in the chat room, my moderators, to thank everybody, to show everybody appreciation. Who does share with us? Uh, again, like I said, we, we're just here to excite the conversation to get the conversation going, to get you to start questioning more, to get you to start saying, hey, wait a minute, shit don't line up. How is it that you could be against black advancement on one vote, but then when you need my vote, you're all for black advancement? And you get to teeter-tot back and forth on some fuck shit just to get a vote to keep a spot and keep a position. Wow. When are you gonna stop playing the game? So. Again, we're just here to push those narratives to keep arguing, to keep discussing, to keep questioning. Don't accept anything I say. Don't accept anything Jeff says. Go read, go study, compare what you heard here. Uh, 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 challenge the beliefs that you learned in your part of the country, in sure. your neighborhood. Sure. Listen, that's all we're here to do. But the bottom line is, 
we got to stop falling for the symbol. Hmm. The symbol is not substance. Substance comes from within you. And when you find substance in you, you can find substance in another. And when you find Damn. substance in another, that's when you start generating power with the other. That's why the home got to heal before the neighborhood. Wow. But once the neighborhood heals, the community heals. And now the community is moving as a living, hollow movement of energy. And we can build things and we can manifest things. But again, like Jeff is saying, Jeff has some of the greatest ideas I've ever heard. It, it, it's, it, and let me just say, you're supposed to have your own football team if you make up 75% of the motherfucking oppressors Absolutely. league. Right. You're supposed Absolutely. to have your own league, but you ain't gonna have your own league as long as you're in league with your oppressor. But you're in league no. with your oppressor because your oppressor's money matters more than the atomic nuclear weapon that is the unity from your own hood, from your own people. We don't know it all. We don't. But we do know some basic shit. If we come together, we some cold, godlike, superhuman being ass motherfuckers. Look at the Michael Jordan documentary. Mesmerized everybody, and this nigga been over. <laughs> everybody talking like well, what the? He been f over. <laughs> this nigga somewhere with yellow eyes, smoking and shit. This right. Nigga, this nigga been over. <laughs> but when you go back and look at the video, this nigga this is, is right. That's Heru. Can't can't outrun your uncle no more. Do you understand? <laughs> like you be like, what the fuck? Did you go back and look at some old motherfucking pictures of Michael Jackson? Right. Go back and look up the bad tour. Eighty seven starts in Japan. Mm -hmm. You see this nigga? You be like, this nigga different. Right. Right. You know, but you you see a divinity in that. Right. Go watch Remember go, the Time video. Go, go back and look at Prince during the 1999 album, during the motherfucking, uh, what's the other one? Love Sexy. No. Purple Rain. The Purple Rain. Uh, 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 Emancipation. Emancipation. What'd you say? Controversy. No, that yeah. shit too. Controversy, uh, Emancipation. Uh, no, no. The Black uh, Album, Crystal Ball. Under the chair no, 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 no. I'm thinking of one. Come, Sign of the Times. Sign of the Times. These the motherfuckers, table. listen, it's not normal for a regular nigga to roll out of bed and teach himself 50 instruments. No. No. That's some God shit. Miles Davis, 1959, Kind of Blue. Yeah. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write everybody's part. Yes. Yeah. Coltrane, this is for you. The piano nigga, this is for you. I'm not guessing about Cannonball what Cannonball Adderley, this is for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to write everybody's shit. And because everybody is super godlike at their skill, right. we're going to record this album in two days. Right. Yes. I'm going to record this album in two days, damn it, Jeff Brown, damn it, don't cry. I'm gonna tell you why, because what I am writing down for you other gods is the voice of God. I am translating what God wants to say, and I'm giving it to all of you, and through all of us, he's gonna say some shit that's gonna outlive and be doper than the, the sum of us, thriller off the wall. That's bigger than Rod, Rod Temperton. That's bigger than Quincy Jones. That's bigger than shout out to Greg Philly Gaines. That's bigger than Jonathan Superfoot Moffat. It's bigger than the dudes involved because it is the translation of God to you. God is present in all excellence. Shit, man. God's in the room, you know. You don't want God to leave the room. <laughs> you don't want to squeeze God out of the room? When you, when you try to have too much control, you know, God leaves the room, you know. God's your co-pilot. Yeah. He says, you got it, man. Then you ask for too much control, you know. God gets up and leaves the cockpit. You have to fly your life, you know, without God. <laughs> I've seen God leave the room with many people, you know. <laughs> That's the way it goes, man. Man, shit, you know. God leaves the room, you're in trouble, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. 
We don't know everything. I swear we don't. We're not trying to motherfucking no. act like we do. We simply saying, man, your power, people, is in the people, in us. When we come together, when we heal, man, there is a supernatural ability that will manifest itself within our children. Listen, can you imagine, man, these babies already are more advanced than they were when, yes. when they were. Can you imagine babies coming into a healed home? Conceived in love. In a Conceived home. in love in a healed home. A nurturing, a mama and a daddy that's going to nurture God's excellence smooth up out of you and multiply that times millions of us. God Bro, damn. Why you think, why you think? There's been such a grand plan to uh, implement the term conspiracy theory. Why do you think there's been such a grand plan to literally keep you down because of who you all are when you wake up? Because of who we all are together. Do you understand the might? Do you understand the fear of three niggas around a water cooler? Look at the fear they had for Chris Dorner. Yes. That was one nigga. One. They had 400 cops to get him. One nigga. If he'd have convinced nine more niggas on the same day. <laughs> if he'd have convinced nine more black police officers on the same day to do what he did. All right, you guys. We got to go. I love y'all. Like I said, keep having the discussion. All right? Keep having the discussion. Keep sharing these videos. Keep liking the videos. Keep supporting the channel. Keep, keep, keep riding with us, man. Substance over symbols. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. We'll be back next week. Deuces.